Tom Stoppard's The Real Inspector Hound is a play about theater critics. It is therefore of special interest to Jerry and me. <laughs> An early play of Stoppard's and more clever than profound. It's consistently clever enough to hold one's interest. Critics Bird Booth, top critic at his paper, and Moon, second string, subbing for the absent senior critic Higgs, have come to watch a play within the play. In it, Stoppard parodies a typical Agatha Christie country manor murder mystery. As the maid Mrs. Muldoon says when answering the phone, it is Lady Muldoon's country residence one morning in early spring. <laughs> a body ignored for a long time by everyone is lying on the floor. Lord Muldoon disappeared 10 years ago. His crippled half-brother, Major Magnus Muldoon, has arrived from Canada and is wooing his brother's widow, Lady Cynthia Muldoon. So is a new neighbor, Simon Gascoigne, who has dropped her lovely friend, Felicity Cunningham, in favor of the widow. So in the audience, critic Bird Booth reveals he has done. He is known to lavish positive reviews on young actresses in return for favors, though he denies it. During the act break, the phone on stage rings and Bird Booth is called to it just as the actors return, and he finds himself taking over Simon's role, who is soon the victim of a mysterious shot just after he recognizes the body on stage as Higgs, Moon Superior. An inspector hound arrives from local police, soon off searching for suspects. Moon takes his place on stage and is also shot. Major Magnus Muldoon rises from his wheelchair to declare himself in the play within the play, The Real Inspector Hound, and in the framing play, the third string critic Puckeridge, who will now be first string, having eliminated his competition. If this seems like a spoiler, don't worry about it. The Real Inspector Hound is not really about the murder mystery, but about Stoppard's satire of murder mysteries and theater critics. Deanna Gent directed the recent production at Vontbon University, and her cast gave full, properly modulated range to the mock melodramatic style of the piece. Ariella Rovinsky was Moon, Chandler Spranling, a well-upholstered caricature of a British literary type, as Bird Booth. Chelsea Cranning wielded the requisite feather duster as Mrs. Drudge the maid. Antonio Barnum was the suave neighbor Simon Gascoigne. Claire Bauer, the lovely young Felicity. Madeline Smith, the pursued widow Cynthia Muldoon. Javon Halbert was Major Magnus Muldoon among others. Julian Holt was Inspector Hound, Grace Sellers, the voice of radio news flashes, and Kane Carpenter, the body on the floor. The uncredited set was kept sketchy to remind us we were watching a play within a play. Michael Sullivan designed lights, Jane Sullivan costumes, and Zoe Sullivan sound. We reviewed an earlier production of The Real Inspector Hound on Jerry's first appearance on Two on the Isle. Surely he had not followed a similar path to replace his predecessor. <laughs> or maybe I did. Who knows? <laughs>